Welcome to the 2021 Northern Home and Cottage Virtual Home Tour. I'm Elizabeth Edwards, Senior Editor of Traverse Magazine and Northern Home and Cottage. I am so delighted to welcome you into the eight stunning homes on our tour. Along the way, you'll meet the builders and designers who made these dream homes into reality. As you'll see, each and every one is either situated on the water or has a stunning view of the water. As always, this tour benefits Child and Family Services of Northwest Michigan. We'd like to give a special thank you to our tour sponsor, Golden Fowler Home Furnishings. Hi, I'm Erin Lutke. I'm the tour manager for the 2021 Northern Home and Cottage Virtual Home Tours. And I'm here today on beautiful Old Mission Peninsula with Michelle Cerny, owner of Lakeview Interior Design. Michelle, Hi, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Talk to me about the process of this amazing renovation. Well, the owners found me about a year ago um, in September and we just um, took off with this project. It was an old 1920s farmhouse. They trusted me with the process. I do a lot of lake view properties and that is my niche. And so we just really took this piecemealed house and tore it up. Well, I mean, really the, the process is stunning and the differences that we'll see as we walk through the rest of the home, you know, the differences are really incredible. So let's take a look. Okay, great. First thing I see is dining area here. And, you know, I think this is the original floor map of the home, right? So you didn't really have to do much here besides give it that character that you've added. Yeah, the windows were solid. We were able to work around that, but we brought some of the ceiling soffits up, added the shiplap to give it that farmhouse feeling. And, you know, I wanted to have this beautiful, large table. This is a Canadel table with a wonderful Hudson Valley light fixture to just make this space the wow factor of the house. And this transitions really nicely. You can see the shiplap, you know, light layers this wall. So this was originally an enclosed wall that your team took and opened up so that from the kitchen, you can now see the bay view. There was some supporting walls that we could not touch. So we decided to mirror the size of the opposing window and make it feel like it was another window. But it just opened this whole area up. In fact, before, and you'll see in the shots, you cannot see the bay from the kitchen. So now when you're standing at the sink over there, you can see all the way through. And the light has just poured into this place, which was so wonderful. As a lake home, you know, you're doing a lot of cooking, you're doing a lot of preparing, you know, having that view and that light is, is critical. Yes. Um, so this is amazing. What would you call this? I call this the Grand Banquette. We can get about 14 people at this table. Were the homeowners looking for something that they could, you know, have large gatherings? There was, felt very small and closed in. And right away, the owner, Kelly, wanted to have sort of a booth feeling. And we just went right in on that. So um, Peter Jenks with Inception Woodworks, he built this beautiful custom. And so this tucked right into the kitchen, which is also stunning. You know, in those before pictures, it was all cherry cabinets, but now you've lightened and brightened it up. You know, what's your favorite part about this whole kitchen? I really, I still really feel like the view is incredible. When you stand in this spot right here, Erin, I just feel like, all you can see is water mm -hmm. and the beautiful light fixtures and the, the blue colors. I That is totally what I love. So as we wrap around um, the back part of the kitchen, I see we have uh, like a wolf cooktop and oven, um, gorgeous hood. Were these here already or was that something you guys put in? These were here and that was a really nice thing for us to be able to build around the Sub-Zero and the wolf. I mean, these are great appliances that are classic. They're gonna last a really long time. They are. What I really love about this island too is is we took out a prep sink and we put in an ice maker, which is wonderful for a lake home. This okay. area was a bar. It was also cherry and um, just dark, you know, dated and just wanted to brighten it up. 
we opened this up. We added a nice little desk drop area for the owners to just have their mail and different things. Um, their little doggy loves to sit here and just look out the window. And then we transformed this was a dark powder room into this beautiful cottage bathroom. It's just the cutest thing. And now is this wallpaper on the wall? This is T-Bow wallpaper. And you added the shiplap design, which really pulls nicely from the rest of the house. A simple bathroom, but perfect for when you're coming off of the lake. Let's head to the master bedroom. Let's do it. So what updates can we find in here, Michelle? Again, there was this uh, 1990s darkness about a lot of the spaces here. Um, this carpet, the owners wanted carpet in the bedrooms. It's a wonderful floor covering brokers. It's a Shaw nylon with a stain master on it. So again, they have dogs. They wanted everything to be livable. All the furniture in here is Lexington. I sourced all of their furnishings in the house. And this is just a wonderful lake feeling that master bedroom. Let's head to the living area of the home. On the first level here, uh, you know, you're walking back into the entryway and um, the homeowner really wanted a room um, to feel very cozy in the entryway, right? And you try to talk him out of wanting to cover this. And so you made it to be the kind of these, this full wall to have these pillars here, is that correct? We had some walls here that we knocked out. There was also a strange angled wall. And this was just a fun focal piece. This, this fireplace, we did not want to take that out, but we did add trim above it to just give it something a little more oomph. Um, this is that wonderful seating area that you can come in, have your coffee, you know, have the view in the fall. You can have your fire and the view. Also a glass of wine with guests. This is just a wonderful spot and you're still engaged in the rest of the house. This was so closed off. There was no light coming in here except for this window and it just flows really nice. It feels like its own room, but yet you are a part of everything else. So if you have this home full of people, I mean, we said that it could sleep almost a dozen people. This would be such a great spot to, you know, cordon off people that wanted a little quieter moment. That's what I love about this house. It has different locations for different people wanting to do different things. That's key to every lake house. So as we walk down here, you know, this great room is incredible. I mean, this house just keeps going. You know, I think there were three or four renovations to the old farmhouse that went all the way, you know, from 1920s all the way to current. Um, they just wanted to have a beautiful pool table here to have lots of guests here. I really love having swivel chairs for a lake home so you can have your view and also engage with your guests here. So what can we find on the upstairs level of the home then? The rooms are really wonderful upstairs. You know, it was so dark again. And as we're going up these stairs, this was all blocked off. There was a funny little window here. And this is just a wonderful welcome to the upstairs with this beautiful wool runner. Come into this wonderful space. This was originally an office for the previous owners and it was, again, had some darkness to it. Yeah, so this room also is just wonderful for the kids because we have nice little tucked away USB plugs. So they've got all their electronics in here and iPads they can use. Um, I also like to have light fixtures on the queen side of the bed so that they can, um, whoever is using it to read or whatever, it's just a nice little space to have that. The view here, the light just pours in here. We were able to, um, with Inception, we were able to lift that vent up so that you're still getting air in here. But it's just a beautiful view out the window. So now that we finished the walkthrough of the stunning renovation, I'm so excited to hear more about like view interior design. So talk to me about your business. I've been doing about 10 years here in Traverse City and I just really love um, bringing the outdoors in for my clients. It's about 90 to 95% of my business is lake view property. Um, and 
this is what they come up here for. The half of my clientele, they are, they're downstate or, you know, I even have clients in Florida, California. They come up here to enjoy this Northern Michigan living. And I'm just surrounded by vendors that are so supportive. They're wonderful to work with. You know, I love floor covering brokers. They have been a great team member for me. And Inception Woodworks, they're beyond perfection as far as I'm concerned. They're just a wonderful vendor, always supportive. And we're always Always just bringing that perfect product to the client. So you know when you're when the homeowners are hiring you, they're not just hiring you; they're actually hiring a team of people. For my renovations, I I like to work with John Erickson, and he's got a wonderful crew. And the timing, everything is really important. You know, it's a big deal when you do a renovation. The owners weren't able to be here for a whole year, so they bought the property and they were so excited to move in. But I really appreciated their patience. As we leave this stunning old mission home done by Lakeview Interior Design, I wanna thank you for joining us on the 2021 Northern Home and Cottage virtual tour. We'll see you on the next tour.